Hey, it's Hetere. Since the stay-at-home order, my sleeping pattern has been crazy and I wake up feeling disoriented and unmotivated. I know this new normal has been making us feel a little down, so I'm sharing simple but meaningful things I do to enjoy being alone. First, get physical. And no, I don't mean na magigsumbagay ka. But pushing yourself to get up in the morning and asking yourself what positive changes you want to see and start doing it. It doesn't have to be drastic. For me, it's simply drinking lots of water, trying to maintain my normal routine, and trying, and I mean trying, to exercise. Because of this pandemic, I realized how much I took for granted time spent outside and with people. But it's never too late to give love. Start with those around you. Your immediate family, pets, or fur babies. Your garden, or in my case, potted plants na himala o panalaya. And of course, reaching out to friends and family online or through calls and texts. Although being in quarantine means losing physical connection with people, it's also the perfect time to gain more knowledge about yourself. Try new looks and experiment on styles that fit best on you. Put your thoughts on paper or challenge yourself creatively through DIYs. We all have things we've put on the back burner, so now's the time to finish that book you've been putting on pause. This is also the perfect chance to work on enhancing your talents. And of course, stay informed on latest updates in your area and keep sharing credible news. And lastly, go easy on yourself. It may seem like everyone is well adjusted to this change, but believe me, no one is. So don't beat yourself up on days you don't leave your bed or when you aren't doing as much or as quickly as everyone else may seem to. Whether you use this period to learn, to create, or to rest, don't be apologetic. We all cope different. Remember that all of these reasons are valid. Take the truth over the story You might have tried my patience greatly